Welcome to the pathway for this week. I've got a little bit of a tutorial for you today because you hear us talk from time to time that one of our favorite Bible study tools around here is something called the Blue Letter Bible. So there's a website where you can use that, but there's also an app uh, that is the Blue Letter Bible app that has the text of the Bible in it and then all kinds of tools to dig into that. So I just wanted to show you one of them today, specifically how I used it to uncover something interesting in this passage. Because in our passage today, as we finished Numbers 21, we heard about these two kings, these two enemies of Israel that had incredible power in the ancient world that God overcame. King Sihon and King Og. So, I don't know about you, but when I first discovered these guys, it was like I'd never heard of them before, which I guess makes sense if I'd first discovered them. But man, if we're talking about giants in the land, I feel like we think about giants, we think about Goliath a lot. Everybody knows about Goliath. Why don't we know about Og? Why don't we know about Sihon? Why don't we talk about that very much? And so I did a little homework with the Blue Letter Bible app. So this is what the app looks like on my phone. I have an Android. But what you're looking for is the same on Android and on an iPhone, anywhere that you're using this app. If you, tap, if you tap the magnifying glass in the Android, it's up in the right corner uh, on your iPhone. It's a little bit to the left of that. If you tap that, it brings up a text box where you can search any word you want to. And if you type in the word OG, O G, that's a pretty simple one, <laughs> and search for it, it will tell you how many times that word shows up in the Bible. So I've decided to bite my tongue and not tell you how many times because <laughs> I want you to try this for yourself. But you can do the same thing afterwards. Type in the word Sihon, S-I-H-O-N, search for it, and right there at the top, it'll tell you how many times that shows up in the Bible and it will, sh it will right there list all of the verses where it shows up so you can actually read it. Surprise, surprise, some of them are in Numbers 21 that we looked at today. Now, if you jot down how many times each of them show up in the Bible, how many times the word Og shows up, because it's always about him, how many times Sihon shows up, it's always about him, then go back and search the name Goliath and see how many times it shows up. When I did this search, I was stunned. So I'll let you do it for yourself. I'll let you find the numbers. I think that you'll enjoy that. And it's great practice for how to use a tool like that, not just to search the names of Canaanite kings and enemies of Israel, but to search a lot of different concepts that you may be looking for in the Bible. Where else does it talk about fear? Where does it talk about being anxious or anxiety? Where does it talk about love? Where does it talk about forgiveness? And finding all those different verses. So go do that search. Search Sihon, search Og, search Goliath and see what you might find and how it reinforces the way that God demonstrates his power by overcoming every enemy. In fact, I'd love to just pray right now and thank him for being that kind of God. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you that you are never intimidated by giants, that in, <laughs> in a very strange sense, you are so great over the entire universe and those are just people that even if they're several feet taller than me, they're still tiny compared to you. And so we thank you that you are the God that can overcome anything, no matter how big it looks to us, that you are with us, that you love us, and that you want to bring us victory. And we thank you for that, in Jesus' name, amen.